Hey, today we're going to look uh, into how we can use uh, Quarkus, a Java stack, to integrate with AI models uh, that are running locally on our local machine, thanks to Podman uh, Desktop and Podman AI Lab. So you can see already here that I have Podman Desktop uh, open, and there's this really cool new feature, AI Lab. So um, if you don't see this in your Podman Desktop, you can go to Extensions and then uh, you can find the Podman AI Lab extension, and then you can install it from there. And then once it's installed, you can go to it, AI Lab, and then uh, you see in this catalog, there's a, a bunch of models that are already there uh, to be able to use, or you can import your own model uh, from Hugging Face or whatever. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna use a really cool uh, model called Instruct Lab. Uh, and this Instruct Lab is basically an open source project that allows you to um, even contribute to uh, this LLM, this large language model, um, and add your own skills to it and everything, um, and then uh, contribute that to the actual project. But uh, yeah, so the Instruct Lab Granite, um, and Granite is an LLM that's uh, open source by IBM, by the way. So basically, to be able to use it, you just uh, kind of download it. So you can see here, there's this download button. In this case, I've already downloaded it. It takes a little while. You can see that it uh, takes up a little bit of space, right? Uh, AI for the win. Um, and then uh, to serve it, so if I already have this model, I can serve it. So you, you hit this uh, Create Model Service. And if you uh, do that, you can uh, set it to uh, serve on a specific port. In my case, I already have it configured, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it right here. And um, by doing that, my, uh, uh, my model, my AI model is gonna start uh, running, and then I can integrate that into a Quarkus application. So you can see here, the square is green, and so this is now available on um, on a port, and I believe I configured it as 35,000. Let's see. Uh, so let's go to our Quarkus application now. So I have this uh, Quarkus application that has a few dependencies, most notably the Quarkus Langchain 4J. So Langchain uh, 4J is a Java library to uh, work with uh, with AI models, and we can see that it has the Open AI. Um, extension. So because the uh, the model actually serves uh, and, and exposes the OpenAI uh, API, so not to OpenAI, but the same uh, specification. So uh, by doing that, by just adding that dependency, I can now start, uh, you know, kind of calling this model. And the way that you do that with Langchain for J and uh, Quarkus is that you basically have you create an interface and then you uh, add this annotation register AI service. And so by doing that, um, you can then create, uh, for example, a chat interface in this case, and uh, you can specify a system message, add some context. So in this case, um, I'm just telling it, hey, you know, act like you're a Java developer and then kind of wanted to make it a little funnier who likes to over engineer things. Um, and then um, it uh, takes a message that we can get from uh, from a user or that we can specify in a resource, and then uh, it'll send that to the model, and then the model will uh, will respond, right? And so I just have this uh, very simple REST endpoint uh, on my uh, root of my uh, URL, and then you can see I'm injecting the uh, assistant, right? The assistant for Instruct Lab, which what what I just showed. And then here's my get endpoint, which basically I'm just telling it directly generate a class that returns the square root of a given number. And then that's gonna um, send that message to the assistant, which is gonna send it to the model and then we'll get a response and then we'll return that. So um, just uh, for completeness here. So we also, of course, need to tell our Quarkus application where to find this model. So I have it on, uh, hopefully on port 35,000, if I remember correctly. And then uh, Instruct Lab, and here we have, instead of Merlinite, we have the uh, Granite model. So let's make sure that we fix that. Um, if we can't get a response from 35,000, maybe uh, we'll try to Merlinite, which I know for sure is exposed on 35,000. 
uh, just a timeout here, uh, and then uh, we're gonna log the responses as well. So let's try this out, right? So uh, with Quarkus, we can always do our uh, Quarkus dev mode, um, and that should start up our application and then uh, expose it on port 8080. So let's see if uh, everything goes well. So we can see that uh, uh, we're starting up Instruct Lab application on localhost 8080. So let's try to go to that. Um, I'm seeing an error, which is not good. Connection refused, so we are not running on port uh, 35,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this service, and then uh, we'll just start a new one and do it on 35,000. I probably could have just uh, gotten the right ports from, from the service, but that's okay. All right, so we're now creating the container um to create the service so we can see our service details actually which is uh what's really cool in podman uh, desktops ai lab is that you can also uh interact with a model directly here so you can use curl but you can also use for example java and then uh, you can even select uh, quarkus langchain for j to give you an example of how to interact with uh, with uh, with this model, and you can see this is very similar to what uh, what I already did, right? So we can see our base URL uh, that we need to set, and then uh, here's the dependencies that we need. So the Langchain for J Open API, Open AI, and then we can see our AI service with Register AI service. All right. So anyway, so now this is running on the right port. Uh, let's try it out. I don't know if I need to restart my Quarkus application, but let's uh, give it a whirl here by hitting refresh. And you can see it's kind of thinking about it, right? So uh, because this is running on my local machine and my resources are a little bit uh, constrained, also because I'm uh, recording this and so that also takes up some uh, compute power on my local machine, it's gonna take even a little longer. So let's give this a little moment and then, uh, and then we'll see the response. All right, and now we can see that it responded and we can see that it created a class that implements a math square root method using the double to double method to handle floating point numbers and blah, blah, blah. So we can see that it did create uh, this uh, class to do it and perhaps maybe a little bit over engineered, which is exactly what, uh, what we asked it to do, right? You're a Java engineer that likes to over engineer things. And uh, at the same time, we can also look at our logs here and we can see that this is what uh, we sent to our model, right? So this is uh, the uh, system message and then the actual message of what we wanted it to do. A certain uh, temperature to say, you know, hey, um, how uh, free do you wanna be in your, in your response? And then uh, we see that we got a status code 200 from our model that responded with uh, our content that we then returned to the screen. So this is a very kind of uh, simple example of what you can do with uh, with Podman AI Lab, with uh, Quarkus and Langchain for J, with the Instruct Lab model, which uh, I you know encourage you to take a look at Instruct Lab and you know perhaps even contribute to it. Why not? and uh, how you can get started with uh, with AI. So uh, if you like this, uh, definitely always hit the subscribe button and the like button. I always appreciate that, of course, and uh, see you in the next recording. Thank you.